I am Naranjan Singh. I was principal of the Punjab University College in New Delhi. In 1952, I read a book by Jean Adriel Avatar, and I was very much impressed. And I wrote to Mir Baba that I should like to come and stay with you for ten days in the beginning of April. Immediately came the reply. Baba is going to USA and Europe and will spend some months there. On his return, he will meet you in Delhi. I was a little surprised. Why should he come to Delhi? And then, when he returned, then Kane, who was the leader of Baba followers here in Delhi, he wrote. He came to me and sub said, Baba is coming tomorrow. I said, "All right." Then he phoned me. Baba has come, and you can come and see him. I went and saw Baba, and then somehow I was very much impressed by his personality. And he would not speak, and yet everything was, whatever he said was understand understandable. And then I came back and talked to my. Colleagues, I said, here is a man who has impressed me much more than Mahatma Gandhi and even Ram Das. And they said, all right, let us go and see him. They saw him, then then they pressed me to invite me him to to the camp college of which I was the principal. Then we invited him. The strength of the college was about 3,500, and the hall in which we were meeting was only. Could contain only four to five hundred students. When we invited Baba, and then three thousand and five hundred students were standing there, and I first of all said, "You stand in line." And Baba and I and a few other professors, we came into the hall. When we entered the hall, there was so much uproar, so much noise. Three thousand five hundred students. Then I got up to introduce. The strength of the college was 3,500 students, and the hall in which we wanted to give reception to Baba could contain only 500. And there was a little noise and uproar. When I got up to introduce Baba, I raised my finger, and it was perfect quiet, perfect quiet. Then Baba said a few sentences. <coughs> One of the sentences was that love alone counts; nothing else counts in life. Love, 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 and then he said, "My gift to you is suffering. Nothing is so great as suffering because suffering brings love into existence." And then after we parted, I accompanied him to the car, and students again stood stood in lines and allowed us to pass. And I came back here to to my house. Then came and uh, Baba's secretary, Ajay, Ajay came here at ten. He said, "Now you will not come to see Baba." It is not unnecessary, and Baba is not going to stay here now in Delhi. He came for a purpose, and that purpose is fulfilled. He is very happy, very happy that he came to the college and met him. Well, then there was this. He then, with his permission, I went to see him at Nirala. There, I was well outspoken. So many, every other people nodded their heads, but they always looked at me, and I had to raise up their hands. Once he said, "I am God." I said, "If you are God, I am also God." He said, smiled and said, "Yes, there is one difference. You are unconscious God. I am conscious God." In this way, he went on. He said, "You surrender to me." I said, "I am not going to surrender. I am a scientist. God has given me intelligence, and I have to follow my own intelligence." In this way, he went on. He said, "Surrender, surrender, surrender." I would not surrender. What love is? This love, I said, I wrote him was, "You are an emotion of love, and I am getting drowned in you. What should I do?" Then once what happened? I was insisting, surrender. I said, I am not going to surrender. Surrender. I said, I am not going to surrender. He was sitting just. I am sitting now, and I was sitting on the on the ground, on the floor. Something happened. God knows what. And I began to weep, and I wept so bitterly, so bitterly that people were astonished. When I came to the friends, they were astonished. Here is a man, a man of rock, who never weeps all, and he is weeping and weeping and weeping and weeping without stop. Then, Baba was terribly angry. I said, What is it? You get up. At twelve in the night, exactly at twelve, and for five minutes, say Baba, Baba, Baba. I get what? Then he called me alone. I said, "You get up, you get up." At once, Baba called me alone at to his room in Mirabad, 
and said of all my followers you are the one who can go up to the seventh plane that is who evolution will, will be complete in this life and you if you follow me strictly as i tell you to do then your my tense my grace will come to an end baba the need in communication even when i was very ill he was sending me letters and why did i did january 1969 i received his letter last letter in november 1900 and there are attic drowned in you what should i do then once what happened i was insisting surrender i said i am not going to surrender surrender i said i am not going to surrender he was sitting just like i am sitting now and i was sitting on the on the ground on the floor something happened god knows what i had to get to be and i wept so bitterly so bitterly that people were astonished when i came to other friends they were astonished here is a man a half man of rock who never weeps at all and he is weeping and weeping and weeping and weeping good not stop then baba was so much pleased that he cared of all the those present he would care only for me then i would talk to assembly and he would look at me others kept silent he said what what do you say why don't you speak then he said one thing one thing i prescribe for for everybody i said what is it? you get up at 12 in the night exactly at 12 and for 5 minutes say baba 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 i get what then he called me alone i said you get up will you get up i said no i am just going to leave in college i come back at my house at 10 and then it is difficult for me if you like i help say baba and baba not for 5 minutes but for 15 minutes even half an hour at when the day during the day at when no but he said no no it is it's meant only for you not for others you should do it and he said it with so much love i don't know there was something so captivating in him that i did i said all right and for one year i said baba at that when the night i would get up and say baba 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 there is photo before my eyes and this one year changed me all together changed me all together i could feel the change that is what he said to me is something very inspiring and then bolga what did he say that is fine Hmm? Something very fine, sir. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Then he became so much attached to me that whenever I wrote him a letter, he immediately came in reply. And then he texted me so many times. I was principal of a new college at the Karsa. He said, "What are you doing? I am going to do this. My college is going to be inspected by the university on this day, and I got a telegram. Come to me at once." I was so much. Since college is being inspected, how can I go to the principal of the college? Still, I must obey, Baba. I got to the train by the first train because this was the order, and I came to Delhi. I said, "Abhi, Delhi, according to your orders, please send me telegrams. Should I come to you?" He said, "No. Stay for one day with your wife, dear wife, and go back. That is done." Then he said so many things. Do this, I at once hear it. Do this, I at once hear it. And then I met him for the last time in 1963. There. I took two friends. All these friends became Singh, Jitendra Singh, and others. They were taken to Baba Bali, and in 1963, I fell ill. And when I I had heart trouble, I wrote to him, and he took so much interest in me. As a matter of fact, I got a feeling that my he saved my life. He was at at once sent to me. Do this. Remember Baba. Remember Baba. When Baba's book, famous book God Speaks, was published, and he received some copies from USA. he sent the first copy to me here i read that book once twice thrice and then i wrote letter to baba that i have read hundreds of books baba but i am not read anything so profound well then adi wrote to me he write editor in detail i wrote a few sentences and sent it to baba baba and then he published my opinion of card speaks okay for us sir one context for ha then i said baba i got these misgivings are not removed he said read god speaks i have said i have read it once i have read it twice i have read it thrice he said read it four times five times six times three times seven times and then i i obeyed him and I, even though i was not so not so minded but i read that book very carefully and with seven times in this way even now whenever i have got trouble i don't know how it comes to my head in dreams in imagination 
whenever I am dying, I think I am dying, then I look to Baba, I look to Guru Nanak, I go to look to Baba and they come to my rescue. As a matter of fact, I have been saved several times in my life and I was, when the doctors came up as a hopeless. And my, and then when I said Baba, my gift has become it, hey, Guru Nanak, he said, all right, all right, uh, take me also as Guru Nanak, I am also Guru Nanak. In this way, he, indeed, as a matter of fact, I am a other story, I am a scientist, you know, I am dedicating the whole life to teaching and writing of science, science books, I was captured by him, by his love, love, so much love, that nothing I can ever forget. I was once there, uh, going out of me. Out of the congregation, people met at the apartment. Once I went twice, I went. Then he called me and said, Why did you leave this place again and again? I said, I have never visited. He said, Why? Because this food doesn't suit. Then he arranged it that whenever I go there, a separate food should be arranged for me. He would send men to the town and get fruits from me. And whenever I went there, other people, hundreds of them, ate together. But for me and for himself, for the two, he arranged separate meals. I was to partake Baba's food and then sometimes more fruits than, than even Baba. In this way, I can only say, just as I wrote to him and I wrote to others, that Baba is an ocean of food. But I have written now about him in my own language. I have written there, Baba, saat kaho sun leo sabe, din prem kiyo tin hi that was Baba. He said, love, 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 love. Nothing else comes in life but love. Not attachment, love. Thankless love. Not love for one, but love for all. That was what Baba said. And that is what Guru Nanak says. That was my Guru saying, Guru Nanak says. And that was what Baba says. And then he said, Baba Guru said, Tell Baba about the beauty of Baba. Tell him about the beauty of Baba. Tell him about the beauty of Baba. Tell him about the beauty Baba has written in his book, God speaks, and also he used to say that unless mind is completely annihilated, man does not become God. He cannot. And I said, I am doing this, I am doing this. He said, no. You love me, you love people, I know, but you love because you want salvation. And mind wants want salvation. Your mind must be completely annihilated. And that can be annihilated only if you surrender it completely to me. You cannot annihilate your mind. Mind cannot annihilate mind. You surrender it to me, and then the mind will be destroyed. In this way, he used to so often. But then one thing before for him was that instead of other people in a debate, they get looked at him. And for a man like me, who is always quarrelsome, always saying this and debating and debating, people have got no patience. But Baba was so patient, so loving, and his appearance appeared to be just God like. And finally, it is his love that conquered me completely, completely. And that is what I can say, that his message we should remember. Love, love all. Don't love only your wife, your son, your father, your mother. But love all as Baba's manifestation in the universe. He is all, he is all. And we should love all from insect, from animal, to man, to superman. We should love everybody. And that is possible only if we surrender ourselves completely to Baba or to God. I persuaded my colleagues to go and see Baba and they become his disciples. But my wife was absolutely reluctant to go to him. She said, no, I have got Guru Nanak. Why should I go to Baba? Who is Baba? I tried my best and I also talked to Baba. I said, my wife is that willing to come to you. <laughs> and then I brought one day Daulat Singh to my house. Daulat Singh told me the whole, told us the whole story. And for two hours we went on telling the story, how he met Baba. And he wept bitterly. For two hours he was weeping and we were also weeping. This changed my wife. And I took him to me and he, when she saw him, she became more attached to him than, than to anybody else. She would not, they were both loved each other much more than I loved Baba or I loved my wife. <laughs> That's all. It was for several years before his death, I could not beat Baba because of my heart illness. I could not go there. And he was loving me and writing to me and encouraging me. After his death, I was physically and mentally in great trouble. And one night, I had a very vivid dream. I saw Baba standing before me, sitting by my side and consoling me. Body or no body, he is not the body. He is the consciousness and he is, he is with me and he always stand by me. And he should, I should not worry about anything. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I was sitting uh, in Sarawas in 1958 in the last row and Baba saw me and said you can't hide yourself from me to come, come and sit in the front row. And once my wife was very ill, suffering from fever, he gave us a separate room and there I used to remain with her. Baba called me 